Welcome back to Razmafsar TV. Today I'm going to show you another part of the collection of Schloss Braunfels, which is this Castle Braunfels in Germany. And this time I'm going to show the excavated items from uh, Germany, which are attributed to different periods of the Bronze and Iron Sword uh, ages. So what is uh, Braunfels Schloss or Castle? As I mentioned it in the other videos, so they have a, they have a family museum and it's located south of the Lahn River. It is actually the ancestral seat of the Counts and Princes of Solms Braunfels since the 13th century. And after 1880, as I mentioned before, the castle was ran before the castle was renovated and improved to its current shape. So, and the important thing about the family museum is, or is Zolms, the princess of Zolms Brownfields, that they have been in this uh, family collection for centuries. So. First, we are going to the Bal Beaker culture, the so-called Bal Beaker culture. And you see here hammer axes here, right? Which are made of stone. These are from this area. And Bal Beaker culture, also known as Bal Beaker complex or Bal Beaker phenomenon, is a term, is an archaeological term, and is used to refer to archaeological culture named after the inverted bal beaker, drinking vessel, that was used at the very start or beginning of the European Bronze Age, arising from around, say, 2800 BC, right? And the culture was widely dispersed throughout Western Europe. And here you see that we have also an idol of fertility. And the museum says around 3000 um, BC for Christus in uh, uh, Jahr, Jahr 1000 for Christus is in German, which is comes here around that, right? And here you have different uh, hammer axes. And uh, here you see that how they are shaped. So you see different types of them, very interesting features, how these were made. And uh, you see that they have a hole for passing a wooden shaft through them. The same concept we see it in today's axes, which have steel plates. So these hammer axes, as I said, from 2600 to 2000. And here I'm going to show you a video of them. So you can take a look at them here. Really beautiful. And uh, the video also shows uh, the other, also the earrings and also needles and also hammer uh, axes and axes, but I'm going to talk about the rest of them in the next slides. Just please watch this video very fast because they're from different uh, periods uh, in the Bronze and Iron Age. But just wanted you to see this video first. So we come here and this is here. You saw that in this video, this is from the Middle Bronze period, 1500 to 1200 BC. In German, it's called Hügel Gräberzeit. Hügel means hill, Gräber means grave, and site means period. So 1500 to 1300 in German. So I mean, they're also approximation. Hügel Gräberzeit in, per, in English, uh, Middle Bronze period. Almost said Persian. <laughs> yeah. And then we come to Hallstatt culture. 1200 800 BCE, and it was the predominant Western and Central European archaeological culture of late Bronze Age, 
we have also Halstead A, Halstead B from the 12th to 8th hundred or centuries BCE and early Iron Age Europe, which were Halstead C and Halstead D from the 8th uh, eight to 6th centuries BCE, developing out of the Urnfield culture of the 12th century BCE, late Bronze Age and followed in much of its area, but Latin culture, I'm going to talk about that. What about this house? That culture is very interesting. As you can see it here is this sword, this short sword. Part of the blade uh, remained, the rest are unfortunately corroded, but um, the scabbard shape made of copper alloy is there, and also the one part of the pommel, this roundish part made of copper alloy is also there. Um, we have other examples of this uh, short sword, which is excavated close to this area, so they put it here so you can take a look at that. Also, uh, copper alloy or bronze uh, rings, which are twisted, and this was put around the neck, which is Halsring in German, Tordierte Halsring, twisted um, neck ring, and it's from Oberwärts, um, Wärtshäuserweg, that's where it was found, right? So you can come here and this is Halstead C of D from the 8th to the 6th. Here we have Halstead uh, culture 800 to 450. Again, there are some variations. Here we have hatchets, right? We have spearheads and we have sickle. Look at the strong socketed spearheads here. And also the sickle, then the hatchet here. Halstead site 800 450 as I mentioned that before. Again, there are rings putting around the neck, around the, the arm. And then that sword, yeah. There are also fragments of a sword here as well. Here, uh, please take a look at that. We have an iron spearhead, right? which is mostly corroded. We have a short blade and socketed hatchets, right? Uh, from here from is a Latin, which we use the uh, French uh, term, Latin culture, 450 to 100 BC, which was a European Iron Age culture that developed and flourished during the late Iron Age from about 450 BC to the Roman conquest in the first century BC. They're all from this Germany and German area where this uh, castle is located. And so then it succeeded the early Iron Age and held that culture without any definite cultural break. So look at this please. Iron spearhead, short blade, and socketed hatchets made of iron here. Yeah. Get them. This is made of copper alloy, this small short sword. Again, the rings um, around the neck, neck rings, arm rings, leg or ankle rings, and they're also here, are from Red Latin culture. And I'm going to show you another video here, so you can see how many beautiful items are kept here. What we talked about, the spear hats, these hatchets, and... Uh, so you can take a look at this beautiful collection in this uh, castle and in this museum. So this was a very short video on the, this collection of bronze items many there are also many weapons of uh, bronze or copper alloy and iron just wanted to share with you which are from the this area of where castle where Braunfels castle is located this shows so you can take a look at that and so this family doesn't have only medieval uh, arms and armor and uh, renaissance and laser periods but it also has from the bronze and iron age artifacts among them, weapons. Thank you very much. Please come and visit this beautiful castle. It is really a beautiful area, and also beautiful fortification and castle, and an exceptional collection. 
Thank you very much um, and uh, wish you a nice day.